another of Cavassier's poems. Salutations, we mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. They keep fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Set, yes. Right side, incoming. Incoming, above here. Lyricism from the mind of Vasia. I suppose I'll leave you to it. <laughs>
I'll meet you on the other side. See us. There's twilight stone on the ground. <laughs> Wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. <laughs> we can continue up this way. Father, over here. Here they come. Do what you must. Oh. Father, watch the oar! <laughs> watch your leg! Oh. Light bridges. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder if this statue were to fall over the chasm. Don't make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the door. Nor do I wish to try.
brighter than I remember. Mm. Yeah. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. <laughs> <laughs> Job, brother. This way. We're almost here. <clears throat> Do you still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Ah, oh, the might of Alfheim. How stunning. Wrong. I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said he... went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. 
And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf came... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes. Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck! The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this.
Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? The other realms thrive? And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied? Of course she did! <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy! <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin! We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Whoa! Is that a ball?
them. Before more arrive.
is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, dear. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf... ...and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice! I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Oh! Sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Self assault. How fortuitous. I'm so sick of fighting elves. Can't they just leave us alone? Behind you! Incoming! Oh! 
We leave now, please. Almost there. This way. <laughs> Here. We open the gateway, please. Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look. I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, I gotta remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about... myself. Mm. Travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Well, I hope Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the Giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the Giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believed them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Well, any questions before you travel on? I have a question. 
Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. Oh, I'm sorry, that's it, yeah. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. I'm glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed. Forgive me. You know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables! From out of the dirt! That just ain't right. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But to use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you... Ah, oh, Atreus. My son. I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... <sighs> Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. 